I finally made it to my camping spot. We are celebrating. <laughs> I am so used to say we are celebrating. I should say I am celebrating and excited. I made it to my destination. Wow. And tell me, how was I able to lift that bag with one hand? Because I can't tell you. <laughs> I guess while I was looking at this video, I was like surprised. Well, I guess that's where adrenaline in a kick in, huh? Well, okay. <laughs> so this part, I'm taking my tent out. I have already scouted the area and decided where I am going to pitch my tent and in what direction. I just wanted to make sure, the one thing I wanted to make sure is I have access to both tent doors. My rule of thumb is that I will only use one door to go in and out and that is just to avoid leaving one door open and, uh, and unattended. And the reason for this is because I want to limit any chance of having bugs or insects from crawling into my tent. The last thing you want, uh oh, the last thing you want is later on at night to feel something crawling in your beddings. Uh -uh. Mm. Let me just say you, you're going to scream. So we do not want any surprise guests later on when we go to sleep. And here, I think, um, so yeah. And here you will see, you might notice that I'm getting really frustrated because there is this fly that will not leave me alone. And I'm not sure if you can see it. It's right on my back, right there on my shoulder. Super annoying. And uh, and I so I decided to get my deed out and I sprayed myself. And that helped. The fly went away, uh, went away. And the deed works very well. I bought mine at REI. Uh, but in watching this video, this part of this video, I realize how anxiety and being overwhelmed with mixed emotion can lead one to act a certain way. So my reaction right there was a manifestation of my fear of what could happen, might happen, the unknown, since I am camping up the mountains by myself and the reaction right that you saw earlier and some of you might not even think it's a big deal but for me after watching this video i thought oh my god that is just so unlike me because i can literally tell you how many times in my lifetime i have rusha mikono i'm like oh my god even when like doing that in that moment i was like okay erin where did that come from uh-uh kumbe kuna some things you have not cleared because <laughs> usually i'm calm and collected and this really surprise that i mean and um all this to say if you're curious how i got enough courage to go on my own whether it's hiking or camping imagine i do it scared you got to do it even when you're scared i just don't let the negative thoughts of what could be might happen swallow swallow my ideas or my wants to do any activity um and what pulls me through is our actually our positive affirmation and believe that i will be okay i will see tomorrow i will be safe the mind is a powerful tool and we get to feed and nurture it with positive and or negative thoughts um, and we have the power to make our future a reality. So just be, being very cognizant of the thoughts we feed our brain is helpful and self-confidence manzi will take you places you never thought you could go on your own. That is not to say that I was not scared. I was, I was scared, but you got to do this in spite of the fear. Got to do some things. 
Okay, okay. Enough with the motivational speech to endelea ku pitch this tent kwa sababu we are waiting to take our boots off. Now I'm pitching my tent. This is a two passenger tent that I bought at Ariam and curious why a two passenger tent that's because i like to have extra room in my tent where i can store my belonging my shoes my backpack my trekking poles plus mimi i'm a tosser you know some people can sleep in one position the entire night ah not me i will toss and toss so highly suggest um if you're hiking by yourself get a two passenger compared to a one passenger tent i found um a one pa- i have found a one passenger tent to be um to be small and here you see me adjusting the tent i realized i did not have enough space um in the back so i had to pull the tent um back kiasi and um so if you're camping with a loved one i would suggest get a three passenger a tent and that will leave you a lot of space to boot to <laughs> to put both your backpacks in there um it took me I actually timed it how how long it took me to pitch um this tent it took me a total of 10 minutes so not that bad um plus it's my first time pitching the tent all by myself up the mountain so i was quite impressed but i'll have to admit this was quite masculine for me um and uh, some of you might think i read but it looks so simple now this required me to like dig, dig deeper to my masculine toolbox which was like rather uncomfortable this is the part where you're like eh that baby girl treat me that soft life imagine sounds good <laughs> and yes um let's see again it was my first time pitching the tent all by myself so just you know i i was i'm learning and doing as i go um but oh yeah i would recommend for you to put your tent together at home first since you have access to like google youtube if you need to check something and also just to make sure your tent is in good condition so highly suggest just do a practice at home for me i went to a nearby park and i got to practice there but it's it's really not too hard to put it by yourself and here i am putting my cover on for safety and also for uh, to, for safety and to keep the tent warm and um if yeah to keep my tent warm because it did uh, rain later on um and here yes it did take me 10 minutes if you are two of you would take you shorter just like most things in life the weight of life is much lighter when it's lifted by two people but i am in my current season where i am learning so much about myself and celebrating the big and small wins sindio ama <laughs> All right. Um and then shortly I will start unpacking and you my dear you get to see what I brought with me. All right. And Hapa we're just making sure everything is nice and tight so if it gets windy later on the tight uh, the tent holds up nicely. And thankfully it did it, it wasn't windy at all. Um so it was it was a peaceful peaceful night and it did rain in the morning and you'll see the wet grounds later on and um so i decided to show you this video because because on a previous video i had shown you the things how i pack up and i wanted to mix it up and here yes we are celebrating the big and the small wins <laughs> so i thought i should mix it up and you get to see what i bring with me and yes gotta have dancing in lazima sherehe to let her up the mountain some uh huh dancing some more <laughs> and there you have it i did put my tent together 
that is my view for the night i've always wanted to camp here and i'm glad the day i went this spot was available and you know what we are gonna call this a five-star hotel ama you can't beat that view mm -mm -mm. Wow. you can't beat that view it is beautiful and here i had to adjust the tent key logo i realized i had put the stick on the wrong side it needed to be on the left and i had put it on the right and here you'll see me talking to my to myself i promise i am not crazy because you don't have somebody to consult with because usually it's like babe uh, am i supposed to put this on the right side this side honey <laughs> <laughs> like in a new how you po hapa it a bit to young delicious in your cheesy those in your cheesy <laughs> yeah so if you find yourself talking to yourself imagine in normal look your peke in normal sometimes you'll talk like i don't know i don't know and that's okay it's okay to not know all right that is my pad it's not your temper predict mattress but it does the job it does the job and yep still talking to myself i'm like nikki when you tend to this I'm like thinking through it because you want to be you want to plan ahead and the planning part is where it takes a lot of muscle energy so planning ahead oh yes two oranges two uh hard boiled bananas so makes me so happy and then i got a mango which i brought with me i've never eaten a mango up the mountain so i thought i would try something new and then i have this warm nice sweater that i bought from maria and my kitchen supply which i never i did not end up using and then let's see what else i brought and i also brought my water bottle and my cup my favorite cup which i like it love it and then i have let's see yes stay <laughs> and then i brought this lightweight chair also bought it from my area if you're not a member i would highly suggest it i am a member i'm not getting paid to see all these great things about rei but i love their products and i love shopping there and this chair imagine it's so lightweight and easy to put together and some people might say you know you don't need a chair to you don't need to bring a chair they can some prefer to sit on a rock or a sitting pad mimi comfort <laughs> there, there are two things that are, are priority for me comfort and and staying and having food those two things are priority for me making sure i am comfortable and if that means bringing um, a chair will do it if it means bringing a mango up the mountain to naleta your mango up the mountains <laughs> so it's just at the end of the day it feels so nice to sit at a comfortable chair and here i brought two books both african authors so i guess you could say my drug of choice is the outdoors yes the mountains <laughs> <laughs> and here are the sandals that I brought. Oh my gosh. And it feels so good. So good having sandals. Cuz after a long day hiking, you just are so ex exhausted. You want to have something just comfortable to sit on and uh not to sit on. Something comfortable. So take off your socks and put your sandals on. Oof. Oof the best feeling seriously this is one of the best feeling ever after a long day taking off your shoes mm, nothing can beat it nothing can beat taking your shoes off after a long day <laughs> all right and yes super dusty so you want to make sure you get all the dust and you know dust it out away from the tent before you put the boots in the tent so i like to put it at the farthest away from my where i'll be putting my head or plates in my head 
let's see what else we got we got a beer can where i put all my food pretty much anything with a scent or um anything that's heavy uh, and i'll be opening that up later for you to see let's see i have my medical uh, aid kit where i put all my medication and bandage thankfully i've never needed to use it and goodness but you always bring if you need it and here i have a blow up insulated air pad again added a cushion to my summer comfort na food ni priority senior <laughs> so you'll see me um blow that up uh, later on and then i also this is my first time using a mummy liner i've had it for near but never needed to use it that's a mummy liner you can think that think of it like a bed sheet or a bed liner it's much easier to clean out to have it washed than washing your sleeping bag uh, so for extra warmth for sure bring your uh, sleeping um, mummy liner and there it is my osprey water bladder um and i have four of those different sizes and i would suggest before once you unplug it make sure you suck all the water out to avoid any spillage but i tell you osprey is my favorite uh, my favorite if you need travel or hiking or camping supply i would suggest you check out osprey website or ig they have backpacks that are great quality durable and well designed i have had their backpacks for a very long time one of my backpack is like six years old and it's still in great condition and I'm not saying this because I am a brand, um, Osprey brand ambassador, but because their products are really good. And that's why I even became a brand ambassador because I owned, I had their products before I even got um, to become an ambassador. So yeah, check Osprey website or IG out. All right, and here is my sleeping bag. It's a Nemo uh, sleeping bag. It's quite comfortable and nice and warm. It kept me warm during the night and having a sweater on and having, you know, a, a sleeping pad and cushion and a liner. You'll be nice and warm. I love my sleeping pad, my sleeping, my sleeping bag. I've had it for several years. I can't quite remember how long, but maybe three, four years. And then there are my sleeping clothes, clothes, soft and comfortable. And oh, let's see, what else? Oh, yes, swimming suit in case you decide to go jump in the lake, which I actually did and I loved it. I loved it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> was so refreshing uh, this um i also brought extra pair of shorts as you can see this place is really dusty and my clothes were really dusty so i like to always have a change of clothes for the afternoon because i usually arrive i normally arrive um on my camping spot early and then aka to my kuja namboshori sleeping uh, um a beanie hat to keep your head warm during the night and i have a small sitting pad for caution and the automesama comfort na food ni lazima and let's see what else we, i brought i bought gloves thankfully did not need to use it uh, it wasn't that cold at night or in the morning and then i brought a journal with me and yeah, and it looks like I'm just drawing things right now. Content. I'll go later on and arrange it. But right now I'm just getting things um, out of my bag uh, to make sure I have access to all the things that I'll need. That is warm socks and a head wrap later on for the evening. Priority keep. Oh, and that is a neck gaiter to keep your neck warm. And also half of your face but i did not need to use it um it wasn't that cold in the morning or at night but i'm glad i had i had it better to have items that you might need it than need it and not have it 
and then there i have change of clothes oh yes and then these cute cute socks i bought at a socks uh, shop um, it says happy camper and we are in the green season so i had to get those socks when i saw them so cute and i did wear them and then those are socks for the following day uh, that i brought with me um let's see because uh, right here i'm just making sure i don't have any scented items in my in my backpack take everything that i need away because the we do not want to attract any wildlife in uh in our tent so make sure you're not putting any food product i'm a kitoyota equinescent quite tent and let's see what else still looking making sure oh look what we have here we have sunscreen and yes make sure you bring sunscreen because remember it is it gets hot and this area you can see it is quite exposed i do have a shaded area but quite exposed so you have extra sunscreen in case you go in the water come back you can reapply so checking my bag checking my oh yes oh my god yes gotta make sure you have a tissue paper because a bubble when that uh, nature mother nature call you will want to answer that call <laughs> and yes please bring an extra ziploc bag because you need to take out all the trash you bring with you that includes tissue paper please remember don't try to bury the tissue paper remember leave no trace and my lips get super dry especially in the evening so i like to bring a lip mask and there i have an energy bar so putting that away we'll put that in the tent in the not in the tent in the bear can you know on so just making sure and everything is out okay and let's see what else i brought oh brought two sandwiches oh i brought two you'll see the other one later and then here i have oh yes sandwich and extra ziploc bag um in case you need it and then sunglasses and a bear net um i i would have used that for the bee but the bees were not or the bee was it was just one so if there were many i would use that and then i have a knife for cutting my fruit and for safety and then my car keys are nicely secured as i told you osprey makes their backpacks are well designed so i don't have to worry where my car keys are nicely secured and there you have it my favorite backpack and for camping and i'll leave the this all the details about the backpack uh, in the description below this is a small size and you can go me get measured at REI or in Osprey website you can actually go check your measurement they check yeah how broad your shoulder are and your waistline just to make sure you have a nice fitting backpack I used to wear an extra small and then um, my <coughs> my waistline expanded <laughs> so i got a as a small instead of extra small what i showed you earlier that was a lip mask i bought from sephora but you can bring pretty much any ointment of your choice you can see they're super dusty so extra change of clothes helps a lot okay time to open this bear can and in as a quite tricky kind of it can be a little bit tricky because it's really made for so that wildlife cannot open so and here we got a power bank you'll need that because above your phone is likely going to to die panty liner and you will have people randomly stop to say hello and compliment your camping spot so yeah people here are super friendly really uh, friendly at least the people I've met so far uh, <laughs> and then we have our headlamp and if you come from a British English speaking um, if your English is British uh, we have a torch and a flashlight um, and I always like it's wise to check if 
your flashlight or headlamp works ahead of time when you are home when you are home and i had checked mine my headlamp and my flashlight was working until my flashlight was here i was like uh -uh, irene it's too light we are not working it, it, it wasn't working right here but later on it did i think i was just not pressing the right button but i was like oh you know what we have that's why we bring flashlight as a backup okay and there i have the phone plug and toothpaste and toothbrush for the evening and also for the for the following morning for the morning when you wake up and let's see oh that is dried food that I did not get to use because I brought a lot of food and then I have deodorant and a stove and then my eyelids get really irritated especially when I am in dusty areas so I always bring that to clean my eyelids and then kuna bathing wipes what to the people who went to boarding school we call it passport shower <laughs> And then again more dried food that I did not get to use and then this is the part where I put everything back in the bear can that has scent and that's why I would put it in and then later on I would take it far away from my tent due to see little wildlife in our in our tent so what I'm doing here is just planning ahead of time so later on I'm not trying to figure out where is this where is that you're just making it easier for you later on and then you get to relax and enjoy the view so putting the things i would need in the tent and knowing where exactly i'm putting the tent the green jacket if you're wondering how come it's so sunny Irene, why you you're wearing that that is actually for uv protection so it helps your arms not um get burnt even if you have sunscreen um so you'll see me putting it on and off because of a bomb like i can feel the sun burning my shoulders and eh, not compare we have we are tanned we are tanned <laughs> there is my lip mask it has scent so even that will go in my back and oh did i put it in my back and i think i put it in my tent but it has two lids on for scent and i make sure that all none of no food items go in my tent so usually i would put it under the tree since i'm in the area and um and just keep an eye out an eye out and here we're just making sure everything is nicely organized and food supply goes in the bear can and i'm almost done i'm almost done i think so we'll see how much longer but um, this did not take more than I believe I timed it was 35 minutes total and there you have it oh thought I was almost done but now time to blow up the sleeping pad and this really just take two to three minutes it depends how <laughs> to to blow up blow up a sleeping pad and this is where you realize eh, I'm out of breath I'm out of breath <laughs> but we are gonna enjoy the view maybe kidogo dancing um as we as as we are blowing this pad and what a view I am just glad I, I scored this camping spot um and this also where a chair helps can you imagine doing this when you're sitting on a rock so having a chair really truly does help and it's lightweight so i don't mind bringing items that are helpful and items that um promote me being comfortable so a chair will help and then there you have it two three minutes you are done that there is your second mattress <laughs> <laughs> all right and there we go oh this is gonna be such a beautiful visit and it ended up being amazing it was just exactly what i needed and just to immerse myself in nature that just usually does it for me in fact if i go like three four days without being in a green space i would like start itching for it <laughs> literally i'm like 
something is not right oh yes and then we gotta place the chair facing the view all right kasababu what a view there we go ah <sighs> we our tent and there is our chair what a view now let's do a tour shall we okay and here my dear viewer i did open the two tent doors just for you and what do you say shall we go inside i think we should all right come i'll show you inside since earlier on i was just throwing things in there but now then everything is nicely arranged there is my favorite osprey backpack and then I have a water bladder. I have swimming clothes, change of clothes, uh, my boots there, trekking poles, and then my sleeping clothes. And then there are my books and everything I need. Let's go outside, see what we got. And look at that view. Tell me that is not paradise. The water is so clear. The water is so clear. And this, my dear, was my home for the night. My home for the night. There we go. <laughs> I had all this all to myself. And there I have my tripod. And my food, like I say, I always put it away where I can see it. My two sandwiches and then <laughs> orange, banana, two peaches, a mango. Usini judge na juani for the more, but like me, appetite nail. And there you have it. You got to see the items I bring with me on a camping trip up the mountains hopefully that was helpful or at least entertaining you got to get ideas of the things to bring or at least inspire you to go on a hike yay all right and lastly don't forget to sit down enjoy the view think maybe even think of writing a few thoughts in your journal your goals, things you want to change, progress you've made so far, and just think through and enjoy the view. Wow, it so, feels so good to immerse yourself in nature. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs>